Hi, it's John Binney. I'd love to share with you my incredible journey. I have one day left in my corporate job, and it is also one day left in my 26 years in the software development and artificial intelligence industry. Woohoo! <laughs> And I wanted to give a quick summary about my my journey so far. And um, really the purpose is to help inspire you, help inspire you to follow your dreams. And so the specifics you might find interesting and my journey you might find intriguing. Um, and I hope that this helps you reflect on your own life and following the things that you really love, the things that you really want to do, your dream life, your dream business, your dream family, your dream place to live, whatever it is you want to do, or all those things together. Oh, where do I start? Um, I had uh, started in the industry uh, after finishing university um, in about, uh, I think it was 97, and I started as a software developer, and I went through about 10 different companies working my way up quite quickly from um, software developer into management and then senior management positions. And prior to this last company, um, I was the chief technical officer. So I was like the most senior technical person in, in the company um, for a couple of companies. And then I joined this big uh, global company uh, for which you will have absolutely heard of. Um, and I've been there for eight years. And not that long after I started, so in 2017, November 2017, I had a spiritual awakening. I meditated for the first time and I was hooked. I started meditating each day. I had an incredible experience in the first meditation and things just got wilder and more exciting every day. And I went on this incredible journey, like talking to my um, spirit guides each day and bringing in lyrics for songs and um, I'll need to double check, but I think I've just passed since then, creating songs every day, past 2,400 songs and 147 albums and a world record for the most albums digitally released, which is, um, which is really exciting. And on that journey, I also began doing um, energy healing for people, past life, uh, like regression and healing helping people like scanning their chakras and helping them remove anything that no longer serves their highest good, clearing people's homes uh, of, of dark energies or, or entities, and also learning how to teach all this as well. And more recently, um, what started to really change my life was starting to believe in myself and that process started last year. And last year went from a real reset. Like in the summer, I was like real lost. I didn't really know what I was going to do. I felt like um, my, my my career in software engineering was uh, was tough for me. And I really wanted to explore something else. And I went through a kind of rebirthing phase. And you can see the video called My Deepest, Darkest Shadow Work that tells you all about that, that rebirthing pro process I went through. Um, and then in, uh, let me get this right, September, October, I'm not sure the exact month, uh, last year, I think September, I qualified um, or I studied as a meditation teacher and qualified in October and began um, really doing that um, at my corporate job once a week. And I started to see, especially meeting the other people, the other students, um, and doing meditations with people, I started to see like a, a career in this. And that was really exciting. Excuse me, big gulps of coffee. And I then, I then began to see that there was a path where I could probably create lots of different things, you know, not just meditations or energy healings or readings or the psychic work for people, probably some sort of like blend of these things and that I would learn and explore different things that I could do as, as a business in the future. And I also began um, studying uh, a diploma in reflexology, so the, the foot massage. And 
uh, that's that's still going on um, to this day. It's like uh, it goes on through at least May, and I have about a hundred treatments to do, a hundred hours of treatments in total for me to qualify. I absolutely love reflexology. That's that's super fun. And just recently, I started volunteering at a hospice um, here in Edinburgh, in the city that I, I live next to. And doing that for a few sessions each week is just so amazing to be able to give back to to other people, um, and a really incredible experience for me. And so these the, and all the people that I'm meeting on this journey, these things are really helping me. They really helped me kind of put together a mental picture of what my future could look like. And as well as doing the hard inner work, you know, talking to uh, coaches, mentors, both spiritual and business. Um, and even talking to a financial uh, advisor and um, accountants, like really working through like all the dimensions that I hadn't quite figured out yet, and at least talking to one person about each of these areas that I wanted to, to grow in. And yeah, so finally I, um, I took the big leap and uh, resigned from my, my corporate job. And um, my last day is 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 Tuesday. So I I have for the last two years I've been working there part time, and uh, for three days a week Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so Tuesday will be my my last day. And I I really wanted to share that I was terrified. <laughs> I think it took me about six minutes and six and a half minutes to get there. It's like it is a really really scary. Um, process like I kept seeing myself like standing at the edge of a cliff and feeling like I was just going to fall off and that whenever if I ever took a leap I would fall almost like the universe was kind of pushing me towards the edge of something that was dan- somehow dangerous for me and that um, things w- would all collapse you know on, and almost overnight right um, and it's it's really funny because in in hindsight the risk wasn't actually as great as I thought. So for example, if I changed my mind, I, I might find it hard to go back to the same company. Lightly, I'd find another job fairly easily, you know, within a few months. So, so you think, well, all you need to do is like save some money for a few months to, to, to live off. And then literally, you you know, the, the leap itself could be a catastrophic failure. Um, and you would just get another job and go back to, to something similar. Uh, I didn't really think like that at the time. Um, and like se- September, October, I knew I was hungry. I knew I was like, I really wanted to make a change, but I didn't know what it was. I didn't know when it was. I don't know how I was going to save, etc. And so when I took the leap, I was really grateful for, um, you know, being able to work out like a great um position with my employer and being able to work out like the right timings for me. And that, that was like a huge thing. And then we also had uh, the opportunity to, um, to sell our, our holiday home. And, um, it's a place that we've been, we've been letting out for a few years and we don't really use it that much. Um, and it's like another complexity in our lives. So, so yeah, we decided to sell that and it sold super fast. Um, within days and other properties have been, you know, in the market in the same street for like over a year. And so it, that those like two big things were like really surprising. And then it feels like, it's like every time I take a leap, excuse me, every time I take a leap, the universe brings in something even better because I'm making space for these opportunities. And that just feels so magical. And although I have like, you know, vision of my business for the next three, four years, I have the different services that I want to offer. A lot of this journey is about putting my self-care first and knowing what are the things that will fulfill me the most and what are the best ways for me to explore my new services, you know, in person and virtually and being able to you know, work out a sustainable, balanced life. And it's funny, it's, it's, it's not whether it's going to succeed. It's just the, the how, like, what are the things that I will do that will, will make it succeed and that I'll explore and that I'll do the things that resonate with me. So yeah, if you're thinking about taking a big leap in your life, please, please do. And if this video isn't attached to it already, I will be releasing a series of videos that I made about my lead up to this journey. And so I hope that journey inspires you. Thank you. Sending love from Scotland.